You know, sometimes living in the overworld is just a bit too noisy. Too many villagers thinking out loud in front of your face. Too many zombies moving in every single night. And those iron golems just take up way too much space. That's why on today's Handicraft Corner, we're picking up our things and moving. But I'm not heading out to a new village or a private island or Aunt Velma's house in the woods. Nope. I'm moving to the end. Sure, you might think, the end is too dangerous to live in. Or, you can't build a house in the end. Or, what's that smell? To that I say, you're not thinking outside the box. So the first thing we need for building in the end is a nice sturdy foundation. And there's no sturdier foundation than bedrock. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this end fountain into a nice little condo. And there you have it. A nice, comfy, quiet end house. Now let's get to the interior decoration. And there you go, a little interior decoration to make your nice, cozy end house the perfect, peaceful getaway from all your troubles of the overworld. Ah! Okay, let's try something else. When it comes to structural stability, nothing beats obsidian. Look, it even has a, its own little fireplace. This is going to work out perfect. The view is magnificent. It's nice, it's cozy, it's safe, and you even have... That was unscripted. All it needs is a little spru... Okay, so obviously the surface of the end is plagued with threats of dragons and explosive crystals on top of obsidian pillars. So that's why we're going to build our house beneath the island. That's right, I said beneath it. In order to safely get to the bottom of the island, we're going to need a lot of water. We're going to make ourselves these water channels and hop our way all the way through. And the best part about using water buckets like this is you can easily get back up the way you came. Now that we've made it to the middle of the bottom of the island, it's time to make our house. All right, we got our exterior done. Now all we have to do is move on in and decorate the inside. There, a nice, peaceful, quiet vacation house in the end. So remember, if your friends don't find you captivating, they should at least find you crafty. Now if you excuse me, all this building in the end has made me kind of tired. Time for a nap. <laughs>